In the wake of criticism over its treatment of animals, Roswell Spring River Park and Zoo has a new master plan. Today we're seeing what it is for the first time. News 13's Allison Martinez is live in Roswell with a look. Kim, city councilors unanimously approved the vision for the zoo, and by the end of the year, we'll be seeing some big changes on these zoo grounds. Big plans are in store for Roswell's Spring River Park and Zoo. Priority is getting the mountain lions relocated into a temporary structure so we can do some serious planning for the permanent exhibit. After urging officials to take action and even offering $10,000 to relocate the mountain lions and bears to a reputable sanctuary, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, better known as PETA, approved the city's master plan. Uh, the master plan would get the cougar and the cougars and the bears out of the concrete pits where they're currently confined. Um, it would put an end to the antiquated corn crib style enclosures. The 50 page plan, which would be executed in phases over at least 10 years, would ultimately change the layout of the zoo. The $34 million plan would be paid for by bonds, fundraising, and by charging zoo visitors for the first time while boosting attendance numbers. Officials think that starts with better marketing and outreach. So we want the, the kids to come out in the public and we want to show you what we're doing inside. It would also mean more educational programs for families. But the first step is to accommodate to the mountain lions and bears. Because the idea is, is to get them into the dirt, let them lay in the sand. They have water, so we may also bring up the moat that you see now, bring it up to a higher level so you're closer to the animals. A plan the city is behind. It may take us 10, 20 years to get to that final uh, facility, but as long as we keep working at it, keep making improvements, we keep making this better. In a city survey, the majority of people said they were willing to pay $2 to get into the zoo right now as it is, and the zoo will have to put up a small building to collect admission, but that will be one of the first projects that will be done. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Allison. Now, the Friends of the Zoo, the group that helps with the fundraising for these projects, says it is in desperate need of new members. They say their average member is 75 years old.